In the game of baseball, it is easy to overlook them. Players are taught to throw through them, and despite a coach's plea, often disregard their presence entirely. They are vital to the game's well-being. They are responsible for making decisions on the fly, for transferring information, for relaying hope, and with a single throw become advocates of the dreams of their teammates. Since first learning the game, catching the first fly ball and beating out an infield grounder, I've dreamed of playing in the major leagues. June 12, 2012 marked the culmination of these big league dreams. I met John Spiak about a month ago and shared this ambition with him of trying out for the major leagues. I told him I wanted to share the experience with eight other players to give them a chance to satisfy the itch. And in a couple of minutes, he was hooked, something baseball has the power to do. In a couple of weeks, nine strangers came together, each bringing unique stories to the table, but sharing a similar love for the game of baseball. I grew up in Fullerton and now live in Azusa. And, uh... 32 years of age, married, two kids. Started playing when I was four, uh, t-ball, and uh, obviously played all throughout uh, younger ages as a kid. Played in high school and uh, played a year in college at Cal Poly Pomona, and then uh, decided to hang it up and focus on a career. So never had this opportunity. Um, I felt like I was uh, capable of possibly playing Major League Baseball. Um, made the choice to focus on a career thought that a college degree would be much better than 15 seasons in the minors. So. We're going to be assigning you guys numbers here. Uh, here go with the, the head scout uh, made it very clear from the beginning that this is very serious and, uh, and that he's here to, to crush dreams, essentially. As a kid, a lot of young men grow up dreaming about playing professional sports. Um, somewhere along the line, uh, many people kind of lose sight of that just because it becomes either unrealistic or uh, you know, things come in their life circumstances where they don't have the opportunity anymore to do it. Um, you know, for me, this is an opportunity to play baseball with a bunch of a bunch of guys and hang out and uh, show the talents that. Um, maybe I have a little bit left over. I'm from Anaheim, California. I started playing when I was four, T-ball. So I feel like I still had a chance. I still feel like I do. I don't feel like these guys have much on me. Soon after receiving a number from the head scout, along with 500 other hopeful prospects, position players were separated from pitchers and catchers. Players would be tested for speed by running a 60-yard dash, followed by two throws, three if the scouts liked what they saw. In the blink of an eye, the tryout came and went for most of us, and we never even got a chance to pick up our bats. Yeah, I have a family. I have a, my wife. She's, she's my age, 20, 20, 27. I got a 7-year-old daughter, a 18-month uh, daughter as well, and one in the way. So, so yeah, it's, it's getting pretty big now. <laughs> I just, you know, I'm not in my best shape, but, uh, I know I got to play every Sunday, so I, I told you know this was one of my dreams that I always wanted to do. I wanted to try out, so I pretty much it just took took a chance and see what happened. There's there's one game that I remember specifically. It was actually a loss. It was probably the hardest loss I ever took. I had been pitching at the time. We were in extra innings because we were tied up towards the end of the game. I had to walk the bases loaded with uh, two outs to get to their seventh or eighth batter in the lineup to, uh, to just try and get the out. And I got that last batter to pop up. But my outfielder, it was right to him, but he did not catch it. So we wound up losing that game. And it's, it's hard to take a loss like that. You know, it's a disappointment, but you, you build a lot of character out of that. So that was their criteria a 60-yard dash and three throws. The amount of anticipation riding on these limited opportunities was similar to in-game situations, but it was different because all you heard was the quiet chatter of those waiting for their turn. Then came the cut. Out of over 500 players, the scouts chose 40 to take part in a simulated game. Teammate, if I call your number, pick up your stuff and head on in the dugout. Outfielders first. 
for Team A, outfielder 709, 716, second baseman 403, first baseman 305, Team B, 742, 523, 724. The rest of you guys, thanks for coming. Hope you got a good you know, you see what it was about. It was just a beautiful thing to come out and say, I, I, you know, try it out, MLB tryout, even though it was an open tryout. I mean, it takes it takes some guts to be able to do that. Like, like they say, you know, I'm, I'm shattering dreams today. I mean, I don't feel that my dream got shattered, but uh, we got to be realistic, you know. I mean, we're hitting that age where it's kind of, you know, cut off my, you, you're hitting that age and you got to realize that. I feel like uh, I'm gonna walk away from this feeling like you know I did as best as I could and, and I'm happy with that. It was a lot of fun, an amazing experience, and I'll, I'll never forget any of this. Yeah, I was on the computer at uh, I'm in sales and marketing. I got customers calling me, wanting to place orders for uh, delivery tomorrow. So I got to uh, <laughs> I got to put food on the table. So. Uh, I actually uh, just applied to medical school, just got in, so that's what I'm gonna do, and uh, hopefully I can kind of keep that going with baseball somehow. Uh, my dad taught me when I was young, and now I, I don't have kids, thank God, but <laughs> but uh, no, now I'm teaching little kids. I actually coach a little league team now, so uh, you know, kind of pass it on. I was I was being realistic with myself, but I still wanted to scratch this itch that that I've had for a long time. So I wasn't ready for the feeling of not having my number called. It was still a very real feeling, um, and I mean it hurt. Like it's hard to to not hear your your number called or, or that that you made the cut. Personally, I was viewing this as, as my sort of last uh, shot at at playing at the professional level. I'm, I'm sure I'll continue to, to play the game. And I think it meant something different for everybody. I respect them giving the opportunity to people like me and, and everyone else that came out today to, to do that, you know, that don't have, you know, that maybe they didn't get to go to college, maybe they didn't get drafted out of high school or drafted out of college for that matter. Maybe it's just because I grew up watching it and I grew up seeing my dad play. Maybe it's my blood. I mean, I, mean, I don't know what it is that I love, but it's something. I kind of grew up with, so it's hard, kind of hard to explain. I've, I've played sports all my life, and uh, nothing fulfills, uh, you could say, that appetite for for uh, for competition like baseball. Got to analyze every play, every pitch, every scenario. If there's a man on first, if there's a man on second, everything changes. If there's a man on third, everything changes. There's bases, it just every little variable changes the game. That's why there's a tall math and physics in this game, you know. But yeah, that would be the dream to go from college straight to the pros, but that doesn't happen. Sunday ball is always fun. <laughs> I think baseball will always be a, a part of my life, whether it's you know playing with a bunch of guys in a schoolyard or just maybe sharing it with my son one day. Um, but I think it's a great game and a lot can be learned from it. I think that sometimes you know through those disappointments, can come great opportunities to do other things. And for me, I think being a cutoff man um, really means kind of looking and evaluating the tryout, Major League Baseball tryout today, um, that I was fortunate to be to be cut off, um, you know, because it led me to a career that I didn't dream early on, um, into a family that I love so much, uh, the life that I have now, it's far beyond any dream that I had as a kid to play professional sports, and I wouldn't trade it for anything.